Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to do a little bit of thinking around getting started with our drafts for the writing projects we've been planning for. Sometimes getting started can be the hardest part. So today I wanna to teach you how writers can choose an entry point to begin drafting. And one way that writers do this is they take a look at their plan and then ask yourself, where could I start in this plan? And then think, well, how can I start? And then you begin drafting. So I wanna show you how I do this, and I'm gonna show you how I do this with a nonfiction plan that I have and a plan that I have for a story or a narrative that I'm writing, okay? So I will start with my story. So I want you to watch me as I take a look at my plan, ask myself, where could I start in this plan? And then think, how can I start? And then I'll be ready to begin drafting. So I have this story map that I kind of um, jotted down for a story I'm writing called The Big Game. So this is about um, a softball game that I played in when I was in sixth grade. Um, I was not very good at sports at all, but I happened to be on a team that was really good. Um, and I was just always nervous anytime I had to get up to bat or do anything like that. Um, so this was the championship game. Um, our best player happened to be sick and um, the other team, they're, all their greatest players were there and they had a better record than us, so we just kind of assumed they were gonna win. But basically, as we went through in the game, they started out winning and then it got closer and closer. And then the bases were loaded and there were two outs and it was my turn to get up to bat. I've never been so nervous in my life. But I hit the ball for the first time in the whole season and was able to have the winning run score and we won the game. So this, is probably like the highlight of my childhood and it was like the first time I felt important um, at any kind of sporting event. So I'm going to ask myself where could I start with my story because when you start drafting you don't have to start at the beginning. Well when you're writing a story or a fiction piece sometimes you can start like at the heart of the story. What's, what part is the, the most meaningful? And really, for me, the heart of the story was definitely when I hit that ball and the winning run came in. It's like, it's just such a big moment. So I feel like as far as where could I start, I could start there. And now I have to ask myself, how could I start? Well, when I think about that moment, um, I could think about like, like the setting, like what was happening around me or, or like a big feeling I was having. Um, I definitely remember like a giant lump in my throat when I got up to bat. Or I might think about something that was being said. And honestly, the thing I remember the most is my mom like screaming at the top of her lungs when I hit the ball. So I might start with like that scream. I might just write, ah, and then just continue to write about the moment from there and draft it out as much as I can. So did you see how I did that? I took a look at my plan, I asked where could I start, chose a spot, and then I thought how could I start? I thought about that moment and made a decision. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I do this with my nonfiction plan as well. So I'm also writing a nonfiction book about giant schnoodles. Um, my dog Cooper is a giant schnoodle. He's half poodle and half giant schnauzer. Um, so I was come just drafting a few different tables of contents as I was trying to plan. And this is what I landed on for chapters that I'd like to write about. So this is my plan. I just haven't written anything yet. So first, um, I'm gonna look across this plan and think where could I start? Um, so with nonfiction, you don't have to start at chapter one. Um, you could start at the place that you like know the most about or that is like fresh in your mind for some reason. So um, origin, that's like about the breeds. Um, temperament and behavior, training, exercise requirements, basic care. Hmm. Well, to be honest, right away, exercise requirements is kind of jumping out at me because I've been home with him all the time now and he needs a lot of exercise. So I've been doing a lot of um, like reading about giant schnoodles and um, just things that are important to know about the amount of exercise they need and how long you should exercise with them because um, they have really long legs and their joints can um, get bothered if you if you exercise in too long of spurts it's better to do it a bunch of times but short amounts so I just feel like this right now is something I'm thinking a lot about I know a lot about so I could start here now how could I start well 
I could start just by like just writing my thoughts about what I know about this, or I could just bullet all the things that I've learned lately um, about exercise, do a bunch of bullets, and then I could put take that and put it into sentences in a paragraph. So I feel like that's what I'm going to do. I'm just because already in my head I'm thinking about these little things about exercise. So I can make some bullets and then write long about that. So you see how I did that? Took a look at my plan, asked myself where could I start? This is what I feel like I know most about, so I could start here, chapter four. And then how could I start? I'm just gonna like write a bunch of bullets down and then put it into sentences in a paragraph. See how I did that? So as you're looking over your plans, thinking about your writing projects that you've chosen to work on, one thing you might do to get started drafting is take a look at your plan, ask yourself, where could I start? Think, how can I get started? And then begin drafting, okay? Good luck with your pieces, happy writing, and I'll see you next time.